almost every day this month. 12 of the 15 days we have seen at least a trace amount of rain here in the metro area. So far in our rain bucket this July, 1.2 inches of rain. Typical for the month of July, we get about an inch and a half. So we are uh, getting there pretty quickly. We're actually almost a half an inch above average from where we should be right at this date in July. And we have more rain headed our way. Some scattered showers outside this morning. These are moving a little bit quicker than what we had yesterday morning. So some showers that we do have into the metro are really going to be in and out without the, within the hour. You can see the showers moving into Rio Rancho over Albuquerque. Also, as we get you towards I-40, just to the east of Mesita, uh, Los Lunas getting a little bit of light rainfall as well. South of Fort Sumner, south of Corona, some spotty showers. And then in parts of Rudoso, TRC, we have some of the wet weather and a little bit of wet weather still down towards the south and east as we get you closer towards Carlsbad and Loving. So starting off the day a little on the wet side again, but as we get you closer towards 8 and 9 o'clock, rain will be a thing of the past. For the time being, we'll have again that break midday with the sunshine, partly cloudy skies, but uh, a lot of moisture around again today. We're going to see a widely scattered chance for showers and storms, but the timing again is going to be the second half of the day and into the overnight. May even see some of those leftover showers lingering into your morning commute like we've seen the last couple of mornings, but you can see scattered showers around the state area wide for today as we take you through super storm track and as we take you through your planner expect to see the cloudier skies to start the day as we'll have some of the showers moving in and out of the area but then by noon and by five o'clock partly cloudy skies so we are going to have the breaks of some sunshine with temperatures into the 80s we'll get to about 82 degrees at noon 88 degrees at around five o'clock and then we'll track the chance for evening storms again setting up shop 81 degrees though in Taos today 82 in Santa Fe we'll get to 88 in Albuquerque a lot of our numbers are going to be down a little bit from where they typically are this time of year due to the clouds and the rain that we've seen. But we are going to get some hotter changes and some drier changes. High pressure starts to move in by tomorrow. It starts to take away the rain chance for our western zone. Still some scattered storms as we take you into central and eastern locations. But then by Friday, high pressure continues to make its way eastward and our rain chance just shrinks up towards that northeast corner and we'll have the dry and hotter skies accompanying it, accompanying it. As we take you into parts of southern Colorado, your seven day forecast, scattered storms possible, temperatures mainly in the low 80s today. As we get you into the north and west, we'll have partly cloudy skies, 84 in Grants, 82 in Cuba, with the chance for evening showers and storms. But by tomorrow, that rain chance starts to go down and will stay dry through the weekend. Into the south and west, scattered showers and storms with temperatures in the, in the low 90s for a lot of us, 91 in Socorro, 93 in TRC. Tomorrow, we'll hold on to a small chance for rain and storms, but we'll have the much drier skies and hotter skies by the weekend. Into the southeast, partly cloudy skies, isolated evening storms with 80s and 90s. For most of us, Cloudcroft, the one exception, with a high today of 72. The drier skies by the end of this week and the weekend, with temperatures surging back to the triple digits by Sunday. Into the north and east, widespread showers and storms. We'll get to 85 in Springer, 77 in Mora, with the chance for rain and storms lasting all the way through Friday and into your Saturday before we get the drier skies by Sunday and Monday. Northern mountains today, again, numerous showers and storms, heavy pockets of rainfall, saturated ground could lead to some flooding issues, some flash flooding issues, especially downstream. So we'll be watching that as we get you into the northern mountains, and that could lead into the metro area. We saw a big issue with that in Rio Rancho yesterday. And then the east mountains, partly cloudy skies, mid 80s with evening storms into the metro area. We'll have the 80s, a few 90s with the partly cloudy afternoon sky and the evening storms again setting up shop for so your seven day forecast rain and storms will be possible today and tomorrow but by Friday starting to dry those skies out starting to wring it out a little bit we'll get a break from the rain for a couple of days mid 90s through the weekend and again still expected to see those hot temperatures close to 100 degrees as we get you into next week all right thank you very much yeah. Sandra